The most important microphone at church is the pastor's. So let's go through a few simple steps to making your pastor's mic sound awesome. This video is brought to you by Behringer X32 Mastery, the fastest way for church sound techs to master the X32. And with a team license, you can enroll unlimited team members now and in the future. Finally, everyone will be on the same page. Visit x32.church or click the link in the description to learn more. When budgeting for a sound system, the pastor's mic is usually an afterthought. So you end up with a budget-friendly lavalier or headset mic. And trust me, I've been in this situation more than once and budget lavaliers and headsets never produce great results. When it comes to the pastor's mic, you need one that rejects feedback, has a low profile design, and stays in place the entire service. You also need a quality wireless system so you don't lose sound quality and struggle with dropouts. The solution, the DPA 4088 microphone. At around $730, this mic is an investment, but your pastor is well worth it. It has a cardioid pickup pattern instead of omnidirectional, which will pretty much solve any feedback problems. And it goes around both ears, so it stays in place. It is low profile as long as you don't use the massive windscreen that's included. And when it comes to a quality wireless system, I recommend the Sennheiser EW112 G3 system. I'll include a link in the description where you can buy this equipment. Now, the DPA microphone is gonna sound pretty good out of the box, but you can make it sound even better with EQ. The first thing you wanna do is activate a low cut filter, also known as a high pass filter, at around 120 hertz. This will eliminate low frequency pops and unwanted noise. Other than the low cut filter, EQ will be different for every situation, so I'll include a link in the description where you can learn the most important EQ techniques. Now the last step is to use compression to keep the pastor's mic under control. If your pastor is anything like mine, he can go from a subdued talk to shouting within a matter of seconds. Now you could ride the fader up and down, but a better solution is to use compression. Here's a good starting point for compression settings. Set your ratio to four to one. Attack, hold, and release to auto. Threshold, set it to where the loudest moments are compressed around six to nine dB, and then set your gain to plus six dB. If there's still too much dynamic range between the loud and soft moments, increase the ratio to five. Keep in mind, I do not recommend compressing more than nine to 12 dB because this is the point where it can start sounding smashed. Well, that's it. It's pretty simple when you have the right mic. But if you have questions, drop them in the comments. I'd be glad to answer. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, give me a thumbs up to let me know. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the little bell so that we can let you know when a new video comes out. I'll see you next time.